Public Library. Would you like to read some books and sing some songs today with me and Puppy? Oh, great! <laughs> I think Puppy's excited. But this is Puppy's first time at story time with Julie. So will you show him how it goes? Awesome. And when can Puppy see more story time with Julie videos? That's right. Tuesdays at 9 a.m. Come on, let's get started. Before we get started, let's sing our hello song. Do you remember the American Sign Language sign for friends? Yeah. Take your two fingers and hug them one way and hug them the other way. Good job. Can you show me and puppy the sign for hello? Put your thumb in and your other four fingers straight up. Put it on your head and pull away. Good job. Hello. The next sign is the sign for time. Good job, you point to your wrist, time. And the last sign is the sign for say. Good job. Okay, I think we're ready. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. Good job, hello, everybody. It's time for a story, which means it's time to ring that bell. This story is called, I Really Want to See You, Grandma, by Taro Gomi. And this is read with permission from Chronicle Books. I really want to see you, Grandma. Yumi's house is on a hill. It has a pink roof. Grandma's house is on a mountain and it has an orange roof. Wow, they live far away. One day, Yumi really wanted to see Grandma. She headed out happily. What's your happy face look like? That same day, Grandma really wanted to see Yumi. What's Grandma doing? Oh, picking fruit. She left her house cheerfully. What's your cheerful face look like? Yeah. Yumi took a bus. Grandma took a train. Grandma arrived at Yumi's house just as Yumi arrived at Grandma's house. Hmm. Oh no! Grandma cried. Yumi was also surprised. They're not home! Grandma went home right away. Yumi went home right away. Grandma took a taxi. Yumi took a truck. Moo. <gasps> they passed each other on the road. Oh no! Oh no! Yumi cried. Grandma said the same thing. They missed each other again. I can't wait for Grandma! I can't wait for Yumi! Now what are they writing? A scooter? Yeah, what do you think that is? 
maybe a motorcycle or a motorbike. Wow. I want to see Grandma now, said Yumi. I want to see Yumi now, said Grandma. Do you think they see each other? Grandma! Yumi! <laughs> they made it! The next time we want to see each other, let's just meet under this tree, Yumi said. And Grandma agreed. The end! Good job! That was an awesome book. In our story, I really want to see you, Grandma. Grandma and Yumi ride all sorts of different types of transportation to get to each other. Do you remember what they rode? Hmm. Oh yeah, a taxi? And a train? What else? A motorcycle? Hmm. Oh, you're right! They took a bus! Would you sing Wheels on the Bus with me? Okay, get your wheels ready. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round, all through the town. The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 swish. The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 all through the town. The people on the bus go up and down, up and down, up and down. The people on the bus go up and down, all through the town. Good job! Thank you for singing with me! Today's literacy tip is all about pen pals. So, write a postcard or a card to someone down the street, or if they live far away, send it through the mail. Scribbling and then coloring and then writing the letters in your name are all important steps in learning how to write a really long letter. So color a card or write a letter to someone and see if they write you back. This book is called Telephone by Mac Barnett, illustrated by Jen Chorus. Telephone. Hmm. Who's on the front? Yeah, different birds. So telephone is a game you can play when someone whispers something in your ear and then you have to pass it on to the next person and whisper in their ear. But Sometimes you don't always hear exactly what the person said. So then by the end of the game, the message is so different than from the beginning of the game. Let's see how the message changes in Telephone. This book is read with permission from Chronicle Books. Oh, look at all those birds on the telephone wire. Tell Peter, fly home for dinner. Now what's Cardinal going to say? Tell Peter, hip hop flies and homers. Tell Peter, prop planes off of flyers. These are prop planes. This goose is a pilot. Oh. Tell Peter, 
Put your wet socks in the dryer. Wait, that's not what they said. Tell Peter, rock stars are admired. Hmm. Who's this? Toucan. Tell Peter, crocodiles are bad liars. Tell Peter, lobsters are good hiders. There's a lobster. Tell Peter, my monster truck has big tires. Monster truck? Peter doesn't need to know about monster trucks. Who's that? You're right. Big turkey. Turkey says, So, Peter, I'm too high up on this wire. Uh oh. Tell Peter, something smells like fire. Oh, that bird looks worried. They say, tell Peter there's a giant monster lobster named Homer. He smells like socks and he breathes red fire. His eyes blaze like stars and he rides a crocodile that flies and he's coming to this wire. Tell Peter to fly, fly far, far away. He's too young to be somebody's dinner. <sighs> what does Owl think? Hey, Peter. Your mom says fly home for dinner. There he goes. The end. Good job. That's right, puppy. I grew ears just like your puppy dog ears. Burr! Will you sing a song about a dog named Bingo with me, Julie the dog, and puppy the dog? In this song, we're going to clap every time we take one of these letters away of Bingo's name, okay? So these letters are B-I-N-G-O. We're going to spell Bingo's name every time. But when we take a letter away, we have to clap, okay? There was a farmer who had a dog and bingo was his name. Oh, B-I-N-G-O, 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 and bingo was his name. Oh, there was a farmer who had a dog and bingo was his name. Oh, I-N-G-O. I-N-G-O, I-N-G-O, and bingo was his name -o. There was a farmer who had a dog, and bingo was his name -o. N -G -O. N -G -O. N -G -O. and bingo was his name -o. There was a farmer who had a dog, and bingo was his name -o. Geo, 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 and Bingo was his name. Oh, there was a farmer who had a dog, and Bingo was his name. Oh, 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 and Bingo was his name. Oh, okay.
We're going to clap all the letters. There was a farmer who had a dog and bingo was his name. Oh. And bingo was his name. Oh. So let's remind ourselves of the American Sign Language signs we're going to use. We're going to use the sign for time. Good job. The sign for say. The sign for goodbye is a wave. Good job, goodbye. And today we're going to learn the sign for grandma, which is similar to the sign for mom. So this is the sign for mom. All five fingers and tap your thumb. Mom. And grandma goes like this. So you bounce to show the generations because a grandma is somebody else's mom. It's not your mom. It's one of your parents' moms. So grandma is this. Good job. Grandma. Okay, I think we're ready. So the song goes, it is time to say goodbye. Say goodbye. Say goodbye. It is time to say goodbye, goodbye to grandma. Goodbye. <laughs> Puppy and I had a blast singing songs and reading books with you today. We'd like to thank the creators and publisher of our stories one more time, Mac Barnett and Jen Chorus for Telephone and Taro Gomi for I really want to see you, Grandma. Both books published by Chronicle Books. Puppy and I encourage you to come visit us at St. Louis Public Library. Most locations are now open with limited hours. And when you visit us at the library, you can pick up your prizes for Summer Challenge, which for kids include a Magic House ticket, <gasps> I know, Puppy, and a book to take home and keep. <gasps> to go to the library right now. You can also check out our website slpl.org to check out ebooks and audiobooks if you want to stay home and read or you can place items on hold to pick up at your local library location. We hope to see you next Tuesday at 9 a.m. for another story time with Julie. Bye!